As Adele began her eagerly anticipated move to Munich on Friday, she subtly alluded to her rumored engagement to fiancé Rich Paul, the 36-year-old singer and the 42-year-old head of Clutch Sports Group, who have been dating since 2021, secretly became engaged last month when he proposed in Tottenham, a neighborhood in North London. When the Hello singer performed her first night of residency in Munich, Germany, she made a mysterious remark about her. Personal life. What's going on in my personal life? Adele asked the audience as she performed in her custom arena. Nothing, as I've been preparing for this. An amazing 75,000 people witnessed Adele's first performance of her 10 concerts in Munich on Friday night in the stadium specifically designed for the celebrity. It has been reported that Adele and Rich Paul are merely engaged, despite months of rumors to the contrary. According to insider allegations, Rich, a basketball agent, discreetly proposed to his girlfriend last week while on a vacation to Tottenham, London. According to rumors that Adele is getting ready to return to the UK, Rich wanted to declare his love in her homeland, therefore the location was reportedly not by accident. Adele and Rich were said to have tied the marriage at her best buddy Alan Carr's comedy event in Los Angeles last year. Two people in the audience were said to have corroborated the rumors. I was at Alan Carr's comedy act in LA tonight and Adele was in the audience, an observer said. When Alan asked the audience if anyone had recently been married, Adele yelled. I did, regarding the small and intimate show, another viewer said. She yelled I did, when he inquired about recent marriages. It was really nice and adorable all around, but it dipped just before it ended. Adele was sitting right behind me with a friend and they were having the best time. They continued. Only her security brought her cookies when they entered. It didn't matter to her if anyone noticed her presence. She was making fun of him, their best friends. The anchor of CBS, Gail King, then questioned Rich about the rumors that he and Adele were married. Should she address Adele as Mrs. Paul? The next time she speaks with her, the journalist inquired. Playing coy, Richard first stated, You can say whatever you want, but then clarified that he wasn't the kind of person to discuss his, personal life publicly. Not for the media, please. During her September show in Las Vegas, Adele referred to Rich as her husband, igniting rumors that the two had gotten married. When the couple was seated courtside together at an NBA game in July 2021, they made their relationship public for the first time. For almost a year now, the Grammy winner has been sporting a pear-shaped diamond band on her left ring finger. When questioned about it in the past, she said that it wasn't an engagement ring and that she just liked expensive jewelry. Adele was formerly wed from 2018 until 2021 to businessman Simon Konecki. Their kid, Angelo, is 11 years old. The celebrity had to halt her performance on Friday night due to a wardrobe mishap that she had to quickly correct while still on stage. The show had some technical difficulties following the issuance of severe weather warnings. To the surprise of her devoted fans, the singer dazzled in a floor-length dark blue dress while performing her songs. Adele had to briefly halt the show because of her massive train from the printed dress, which blew out to the side and over the floor while she was performing, soaking up the water from the pouring rain. Sadly, I have to take this gorgeous train off because it is wet and heavy, she remarked, addressing the audience before turning to her supporting vocalists and asking, Girls, can you help me? At least it's not thundering and lightning, she remarked, making sure she kept entertaining the throng. Jesus, I felt like a total F asterisk 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 Y and thought, Let me wear this dress with this enormous train on it, after seeing that it wasn't going to rain in time for the presentation. Back there, beneath the stage, was where I was, Adele said. I can hear you all by the way as her backing vocalists began removing the train from the dress. You guys in the corner over here on this side are really cool, but one of you said, We can see you under there. And I was standing in my panties. That really had me scared up. I'll play you another tune, though, because this garment is really intricate. Thanks girls look at it soaking. Adele said as her singers left the stage and carried the item. For the first time in seven years, the singer sang her hit song Chasing Pavements somewhere throughout the performance. In 2008, the celebrity released the track as a part of her first studio album, 19 years old. It follows after Ticketmaster was accused by Adele fans of treating early ticket buyers unfairly, opaquely, and exploitatively, 
which infuriated them, as they started a Change.org petition to address the concerns around the sale of Adele's run of concerts in Munich, the first of which began on Friday night. Her admirers expressed feelings of being betrayed. The Someone Like You singer will front the stage at the Munich Mess Stadium, which was specially constructed for her visit, over the course of ten dates, to an estimated 740,000 fans. Though several fans have urged Ticketmaster, Live Nation, and Ludgeb Entertainment Group to address equitable ticket sales, not all fans have been able to secure a ticket for the performance. They contended that early fans were given expensive tickets during the pre-sale, and that later, less expensive tickets were made available. This petition addresses serious issues surrounding Adele's upcoming 10 concerts in Munich in August 2024. Read the statement that accompanied the petition titled, Expose the Scam, Ticketmaster, Live Nation and Ludgeb Adele Munich Concert Mismanagement. Because of Ticketmaster's, Live Nation's, and Ludgeb Entertainment Group's unjust and exploitative ticket sales tactics, many fans feel misled. Fans are seeking to get 1,000 signatures on the petition. As of Friday night, 841 individuals have signed it. During the pre-sale, fans were systematically misled through deceptive practices and artificial scarcity. They said, continuing to justify the unfairness, the first purchasers were given expensive tickets that were frequently separated after having to register for queue linkages and wait for hours. Later, numerous more seats with better locations and lower prices were made available. During the pre-sale registration, the statement, There will be more demand than there are tickets available, was a clear attempt to manipulate consumers into making a speedy purchase. Worse, Additional sections were installed recently directly by the stage for a far lower fee. In addition to unfairly penalizing early purchasers, this tactic revealed the presale to be a transparent scam. The inability to transfer or resell tickets, a procedure that is typically possible on ticketing platforms, was the second issue that came up. They went on saying, Many ticket holders are having difficulty selling their expensive presale tickets because they can no longer attend Adele's shows. In order to keep ticket holders from recovering their expenses, the organizers have forbidden them from being transferred or sold again. Scammers are now more active on websites like eBay and Facebook as a result. The organizers have just lately revealed, after several demands from purchasers, that these features will or might be available one week before to the performances. Information that was not made clear at the time of purchase, due to Ticketmaster's failure to provide the promised service on time. Ticket holders are feeling deceived and misled by this delay and may suffer financial losses given how near the concerts are. Interestingly, these functions come on right away for additional concerts. They provided an update on Monday, saying that information on the website has been changed retroactively, which can be considered as misleading advertising and fraudulent activity, and that the resale on the Ticketmaster marketplace remains unavailable. After failing to sell all of the tickets, they finally announced that the remaining ones were now being sold for 35 euros utilizing a lucky dip method that ensures no seat is left empty at the last minute. The final insult was that they were selling tickets for 35 euros because many seats would otherwise be empty, not because, as Klaus Ludgeb stated, they were thinking of fans who otherwise couldn't afford tickets. The promoters don't care about that. This is just another massive insult to all of the people who previously paid absurd prices. The promoters are suppressing individuals who openly call attention to these abuses and ignore valid criticism. Fans are incredibly irritated and let down by these deceptive and dishonest actions. Concerns regarding the integrity, fairness, and transparency of the ticketing process have been raised as a result of this mishandling, which has caused substantial financial and emotional stress as well as general discontent. Because they feel taken advantage of and misled, some fans are even wishing for cancellations. They ended by making a demand that Ticketmaster, Live Nation, and Ludgeb Entertainment Group do the following. Address and correct the unfair, opaque, and exploitative handling of early buyers who paid exorbitant rates. Give fans that were duped a complete refund. Turn on resale right away to ensure fair and secure ticket transfers. Update. July 29, 2024. It's too late now. The Ticketmaster Marketplace is still not accessible for resale. We hope to bring attention to Ticketmaster, Live Nation, and Ludgeb Entertainment Group's unfair business practices by using this petition. We demand that their exploitative, misleading, and overpriced ticketing practices halt 
and we demand a complete refund for all impacted parties. Adele looked amazing as she performed on Friday night in Munich, the opening of her 10-show residency in the city. The Easy On Me hitmaker owned the stage as she dazzled in a floor-length dress the color of midnight, belting out her hits to the joy of rapt listeners. Adele chose to go for her signature glamorous look, and she didn't let it down. She accessorized the ensemble with silver glittery earrings and wore her blonde hair down in big curls. Before the superstar's highly anticipated residency, throngs of admirers flocked to Munich, spreading Adele fever throughout the German metropolis. The third largest city in Germany is anticipated to benefit economically from the run of performances to the tune of more than half a billion pounds. A magician and a Spice Girls tribute group thrilled viewers on the second level of the website. A special Adele merchandising bus, which offered 25-pound tote bags, 85-pounds hoodies, 3-pounds and 50-pence Adele-themed Haribos, and 30-pound umbrellas, had other customers waiting in line for more than two hours. The stadium could hold 74,000 spectators, but they were unfazed by the threat of violent thunderstorms. The celebrity, who is renowned for being honest, revealed in a behind-the-scenes photo that she is. BL asterisk 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 YS asterisk 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 G herself. Before the show, revealing that she was nervous. Just over two hours before her 7.30 p.m. performance, she teased supporters with a photo that was broadcast into the stadium's screens. After applying cosmetics, Adele held a homemade sign that said, See you soon! and pouted while sitting with her hair in rollers. I'm BL asterisk 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 YS asterisk 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 G myself with a happy expression. Insider spoke to the throngs of passionate fans who had already congregated at the stadium in large numbers before the show, with one particularly committed fan even rocking handmade Adele Crocs. As he modeled the cozy white sneakers decorated with pictures of the celebrity and different song titles, the admirer going by the name of Daniel was undoubtedly wandering in the deep. Daniel demonstrated his commitment to the show by wearing his Crocs and sharing the details of his family's fiddly voyage from the UK to Germany, which they made in an effort to save money. I'm really pleased at how we managed to save an absolute fortune by not taking the option of flying Birmingham to Munich, the speaker stated. Rather than staying in a hotel because the hotels there are cheap, we took a train to the London airport, traveled to Dusseldorf, and then took a train to Munich staying 20 minutes outside of the city before taking a 4 euro rail into the center. Although it has been rather complicated, we have managed to save almost £1,000 between the three of us, which exceeds the cost of the vacation, including the airfare, lodging, and ticket. This is significant because it allows us to treat ourselves to a little entertainment, including dinner and beverages. This has been entertaining so far, but it's hard to just have still water instead of sparkling and the customer service has been fairly gruff when it comes to paying, he continued. And yet Daniel was still astonished by the astronomical pricing of products, even though he had saved over £1,000 on travel from Birmingham, he revealed. I'm really tempted to buy some merchandise at the concert, but the costs are ridiculous, so for now I'm just taking in all the praise I'm getting from my Crocs.